please stand. Hello and welcome to St. Dominic's Church for this celebration of the Eucharist. This weekend we are celebrating the Feast of Pentecost. Please join in singing at home as you are able. everybody to St. Dominic's Parish. Today we celebrate Pentecost Sunday, the coming of, of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostles. Let us begin this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the Pentecost Sunday, we seek the gift of the Holy Spirit in a special way upon us, upon our parish community, in our lives, in our families, in our world at large. Acknowledge our sins and seek God's mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to stand before his presence. Lord Jesus, you love us with an everlasting love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are full of mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you nourish us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good name. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth. Of the we pray. 
praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation pour out we pray the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in their own language. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts, Cretans and Arabs. In our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Send forth your spirit. 
Spirit, O Lord, and renew the faith of the earth. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the faith of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are. How many are your works, O Lord? The earth is full of your Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and bring you the face of the earth. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his word. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the From letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the Spirit, and what the Spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not subject to the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious, fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmities, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. I am warning you, as I warned you before, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your Kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, when the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but I will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said, that he will take what is mine and declare to you it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pentecost. You know, Pentecost is a gift of understanding. We often misunderstand one another. Perhaps even more often, we don't even listen to God, and so we cannot understand him. And by our experience, we know only as we begin to pray, we begin to understand what God is saying to us. And if we begin to pray, we understand the Holy Spirit. This solemnity, brothers and sisters, is not celebrating a feeling about God. We celebrate the Holy Spirit as God, one of the three divine persons. Early Christians they recall the words of Jesus about the advocate, about the paraclete, about the spirit that Jesus would send. And as they experienced the gift of the Holy Spirit described in the Acts of the Apostles, you know, they begin to comprehend what God had been saying to them. The gift of understanding what was said, brothers and sisters, was able to bring an incredible unity. And we reflect, we can reflect that unity today as we celebrate Pentecost. Today, even when we speak the same language, we don't always understand one another, most often. So we must always ask for a stronger gift of the Holy Spirit so that we can listen with the ear of our, with our ears of the heart so we can understand what a brother or sister is saying to us. Today, many people, my dear brothers and sisters, many people today see freedom freedom as the possibility of doing whatever I want. This is surely not freedom. Our Christian tradition calls freedom that which leads us to God. And the works of the flesh are obvious, says letter to the Galatians in the second reading. The works of the flesh are obvious, but at, there are many works of the flesh, brothers and sisters, described in today's uh, readings from the letter to the Galatians, extolled as very good in our time. Yes. And St. Paul, 
points us instead to the work of the spirit in our lives confirm on this please remember this will be one question that i'll be asking the fruits of the holy spirit is as we read in the second reading peace joy love patience kindness faithfulness gentleness generosity and self control please remember to memorize this confirm on this the fruits of the holy spirit yes brothers and sisters if we, if we want true freedom let us always look for the work of the spirit fruit of the spirit in our lives you know let us struggle against the works of the flesh and learn how to uh, understand how to overcome the work of the flesh and that is how we get to know what exactly the spirit is inspiring us motivating us let us always try what we can with the help of the lord and this is how we will realize the spirit that is dwelling in our lives in a more profound way you know the spirit always gives us and gives us the strength you know sometimes we do not know how to pray maybe for our enemies for our friends we do not know how to articulate it you know the spirit if you call the spirit seek the help of the holy spirit it brings it before the god the father and articulates it on our behalf and puts our petition before him and prays for our, on on behalf of us yes this is what the holy spirit does so let us always turn to you know struggle against the work of the work of the flesh and learn how to live in the spirit if we live in the spirit brothers and sisters let us also follow the spirit and one of the ways we can know that we are following the spirit is to cling to the teachings of jesus always for the spirit always leads us deeper into his teachings and not away from them yes this is for sure the spirit always leads us deeper into his teachings not away from them you see today the world has become so complex many of us many of us are confused we need to pay attention to the holy spirit you know we must be docile to him and we must uh, ask him to lead us and show us the way only him brothers and sisters can help us navigate the rough waters of this world only he can calm down our fears yes only he can calm our fears and restore order to our lives you know holy spirit alone can empower us to face challenges of our lives challenges of our daily lives our families our communities and our world at large yes and holy spirit alone my dear brothers and sisters can help us can give us the right insight i say right insight that we need to navigate through the complex moments of this life yes so what many times yeah we are uh, we wonder sometimes we do not know what to say how to say it just just before you go for any kind of such uh, complicated things or complicated issues or challenges in your life seek the help of the holy spirit and he does many times uh, it is not to boast i stand here sometimes i don't get words how to what to say how to put it and holy spirit does it does it and at times when i get back to my room i wonder i just thank him holy spirit this is how you work this is how you lead us this is how you speak in and through us yes he does brothers and sisters i am many times uh, shocked to my shocked surprised myself 
how mysteriously he works yes let us give the holy spirit the chance to direct our lives our families our business our studies and if he leads us brothers and sisters no matter how complex this world becomes we shall never be confused no we shall never be confused and we would always find our way forward this is for sure and finally rather than walk by sight or by mere instincts as many of us do today let us always walk with the holy spirit our advocate our counselor this is because we should succeed we shall succeed not by power nor by might but by my spirit alone says the lord almighty today humbly as we are facing the tough challenges in the world in our lives humbly pray to the lord lord send forth your spirit as shown beautifully sang it send forth your holy spirit and renew the face of the world amen Father Almighty, creator of heaven, Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who is conceived of the Holy Spirit, one of the Virgin Mary, suffered on Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he was again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he'll come to judge the living and the present. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now place before the Lord our prayers in these petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world that we be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit as we seek renewal and the true way forward together. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of India, that the Holy Spirit inspire their doctors and nurses in their fight against the ravages of the COVID virus. We pray also for the church in India, which in the past month has lost three bishops and 160 priests to the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our young people, that the Holy Spirit give them the wisdom to recognize the harmful effects and dangers of addictive and illegal drugs, so that our country be saved from the criminality, fear, and death that the drug culture brings into our communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end to the violence and bombings in Gaza, Palestine, and Israel for the innocent victims who have died, and for the families who have lost loved ones. We pray particularly that the Spirit inspire world leaders to put selfish self-interest aside and dedicate their efforts to bringing comfort and peace to that troubled region. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the spiritual and physical well-being of all our parishioners, for all those who have died recently, George Whiter, Paul Cantlon, Claire McIntyre, Franca Metcalf, Paul Mia, Eduardo de Souza, and for all who mourn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray in silence now for our personal intention. God, our loving Father, we welcome today the gift of the Holy Spirit 
the source of all life and love. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we are seated divine we offer you the divine and work of human hand it will become our spiritual drink blessed be God forever with a humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you Lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to Lord God Lord wash me when you please cleanse me from my sins Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of God's name for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those who made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son, the same spirit as the church came to birth opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with fascal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit 
You give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we did bread and bring things up We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, his, of the saving passion of your Son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood of your son and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Dominic, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleading to you. At their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Yes,
command and form by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Let your hand renew and waken all who sleep. 
Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, save God, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael, Michael the, the Archangel, archangel defend us in the day of our battle. Be our, be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. Of the devil. May God, God rebuke, rebuke him, him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Pray to Saint Joseph. To you, you O Blessed Joseph, to we come in our afflictions, and, and having implored the help, the help of, your of your most holy spouse, spouse we confidently, confidently invoke your patronage, your patronage also. Through that, that charity which bound you to the Immaculate, Immaculate Virgin, Virgin Mother, Mother of God, God and through the paternal, paternal love, love with which you embraced the child, child Jesus, we humbly, we humbly beg you graciously to regard, to regard the inheritance the which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood. blood and with, with your power, your power and, strength and strength to aid us, us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy, of the Holy Family, family defend, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Christ. O, o most loving Father, Father ward off, off from us every contagion, every contagion of error and corrupting, and corrupting influence. influence. O our, o our most, most mighty protector, protector be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our, in our struggle with the power, the power of darkness. darkness. As once, As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield, too, each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Thank you, dear people of God. As we are celebrating the Feast of Pentecost, I especially pray for all our families, especially during this uh, challenging times. May God give us more strength, inspiration, and motivation to keep uh, 
our uh, eyes fixed on him and strengthen, support each other. Thank you for all your generosity and all the confirmandis. Please get prepared as we are approaching sooner to celebrate the sacrament of confirmation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We'll have been.